Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Make sure you like this video down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So Herschel Walker, we saw the Newsmax report that said he would not be running in 2022. That apparently was debunked by recent developments given the fact that Herschel Walker has officially just declared his candidacy today, saying that he cannot sit on the sidelines anymore. Can Herschel Walker win? Who is Herschel Walker? What would Herschel Walker have to do to win? We're going to answer all of those questions because they are so important regarding the Senate election in Georgia because if Republicans win the Senate election in Georgia, it is going to be extremely difficult for them not to retake the Senate given the fact that They'll probably win in Wisconsin. They're most likely going to hold North Carolina, Florida, Ohio to the point where the only Senate seat that they really would have any chance at losing is the state of Pennsylvania, and they would be able to make that up with Georgia. But even then, at that point, they're likely to still hold in Pennsylvania and Republicans if they win Georgia. Georgia is the crucial battleground to get them to 51 seats, which is what they need. Uh, it really depends on other things. Will Chris Sununu run in New Hampshire? What happens in Arizona and Nevada? Because 54, that could end up being the ceiling and the floor, depending on the wave, because all those states were fairly close in 2020. Uh, but we're going to get to all of this. But first, I have to tell you guys about my good friends over at My Patriot Supply. Folks, are you getting an uneasy feeling about the future? You can't put your finger on it, but you know that something big is going to happen soon, and it's not going to be good? Millions of Americans feel that way right now, and they're quietly stockpiling emergency food while they can. Do you have enough emergency food to get you through a sudden crisis? If not, check out My Patriot Supply. They're the nation's number one preparedness company, and they've served millions of American families. Right now, you can save 25% off their popular four-week emergency food kit. You'll enjoy a hearty breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, and snacks, totaling over 2,000 calories a day, while everyone else is standing in a food line. Plus, the food stays fresh for up to 25 years in proper storage, so it'll be there whenever you need it. But don't wait. Go to preparewithrediegle.com and claim your four-week emergency food kit now. You'll save 25% if you do it and act right now. Again, that is preparewithrediegle.com. So Herschel Walker declaring his candidacy. After the Newsmax report that I did a video on probably a couple weeks ago from a source close to Herschel Walker saying he wouldn't run again, there was discussion about Herschel Walker's uh, family past and domestic violence issues, even though his opponent, Raphael Warnock, has a lot of those same concerns about him as well. Uh, but Herschel Walker was under fire. Herschel Walker is a football player, a former football player, I should say. He was involved in one of the worst trades in history, uh, Herschel Walker, in terms of his football career, he totaled over 8,200 yards rushing. Uh, also, he was very good out of the backfield. He got 5,000 yards receiving, and he had a really good season in 1988 where he got over 1,500 yards rushing. For those who really don't know football, that is a pretty good number. Uh, and then the next year, early on, he was traded to Minnesota. They gave up a lot to get him. And he didn't really have the same output. He really wasn't that consequential, wasn't a bad player, but he didn't get a thousand yards in a season again until after he left and went to Philadelphia, had a few, you know, good seasons of decent production, was fairly utilized in the receiving game and kind of just faded away, went back to Dallas, didn't really play much at the tail end of his career. But Herschel Walker, before the NFL, was in the USFL, which was a league that Donald Trump owned a team in. Uh, the New Jersey Generals, that's where he met Donald Trump back in the 1980s, and he was very, very good in that league, and Donald Trump and him became very good friends. He babysitted Donald Trump's kids, and Donald Trump wanted this guy to run for Senate out of the state of Georgia, or governor, and it seems as if he has chosen now to run for Senate. But there have been concerns about Herschel Walker because there is, you know, there are some skeletons in his closet. Definitely, he has a lot going for him. He's a football player, and he's a well-known, you could say, celebrity from the state of Georgia. He was born in the city of Wrightsville. But you look at Herschel Walker, there's also some scandals, skeletons in his closet. Not entirely saying that there's no skeletons in the closet of uh, his opponent 
On the Democrat side, Raphael Warnock, but he was able to win because his candidate that was opposing him was a robot, Herschel Walker. He brings the star power. He brings the celebrity factor, kind of what Tommy Tuberville did in Alabama. And it seems as if now that he's running, he'll likely get the Donald Trump endorsement. Donald Trump kind of pre-endorsed him uh, in the Senate election. But at the same time, his divorce was ugly. Uh, Ex-wife, apparently in the documents, the ex-wife said that her life was threatened by Herschel Walker. Now, this could mean a lot of things. Definitely people going through these types of things, these divorces. Sometimes things get said and thrown around that are not always the most accurate. Definitely in the divorce papers in the 1990s with Donald Trump and his first wife, there were uh, you know, sexual assault allegations in there, even though his wife reneged on it after the divorce. And that really didn't affect him too much in 2016, at least not comparatively speaking, to the point where I'm not entirely sure it's going to doom Herschel Walker out of the gate, especially in a red wave election. I guess it might even be a topic of discussion in the primary. But beyond that point, not exactly sure it's going to hurt him, especially because, yeah, he's, he's had time to think this over. But definitely now, it seems that Herschel Walker is jumping in the Senate race in Georgia. And can he win is the other question that we have to analyze, and it might be the most important question of all, because he can easily get nominated. If he has Trump's endorsement, it's probably going to happen. He's likely going to get a few other prominent conservative endorsements. He's going to have to go up against other individuals uh, in his own party. Gary Black, who was a statewide elected official, Calvin King, uh, and there's several other people that have publicly expressed interests. Yeah, Kelly Loeffler, hopefully not. I don't think that's going to happen. And uh, David Perdue filed paperwork. He's not going to run for the seat. And now Herschel Walker is pretty much that guy. Trump's endorsement. Buddy Carter has endorsed him as well. Buddy Carter uh, was also floated in that Newsmax article as somebody who would run for Senate if Walker didn't. But Buddy Carter is an elected official from the House of Representatives that has endorsed Walker. It's good that he's getting other statewide endorsements in the one poll. Again, it's one poll. These polls are not always going to be accurate, but uh, the statewide official that's elected that is fairly popular has the endorsement of Nathan Deal, the former governor of Georgia. Gary Black's only at 5% in the poll with Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker's at 54. Uh, He has a 49-point lead. Yeah, 35% are undecided, and it's an early poll, but it's pretty obvious that Herschel Walker's going to be the nominee now that he's decided to run uh, pretty much all of the polls Doug Collins, I think, is the only other candidate that really would make things competitive, but even then, I don't know if he would really win. Now, predictions for this race, lean D, battleground lean D. I'd say you could argue it's even lean R with Herschel Walker and PPP, which is a Democrat poll. Now, it is true that this could be a strategic release because there was such a discrepancy between Gary Black and Herschel Walker where they may... Uh, be trying to discourage Republicans from running Gary Black if they fear him a little bit more. But Herschel Walker in that poll is essentially in the margin of error. And in the Trafalgar poll, he is defeating Raphael Warnock, although Trafalgar polls in the state of Georgia have been really awful in terms of the fact that they just overestimate Republicans significantly. But either way, I think that this is going to go down the wire, and I think Herschel Walker definitely is a solid candidate overall. Definitely there are some skeletons in his closet with the turbulent past and the potential domestic violence threats that were made, but is that really going to impact him in the long run? Not entirely sure. Again, Herschel Walker would have to do just a little bit better than Donald Trump to win. And without Trump on the ballot, Democrats are likely going to be less energized. Republicans are going to be less energized too. But since Biden's in the White House, Republicans are going to be more energized to the point where you look at Georgia. David Perdue, he won the first round percentage-wise, but it went to a runoff. And he ended up losing because of McConnell and the checks and the energy factor just happened to continually stay on the Democrat side. But it was a very close election with David Perdue and John Ossoff, and then Kelly Loeffler lost by a wider margin to Raphael Warnock, still within 2%. Georgia, again, very close state in the 2020 election cycle. Uh, You have to do a little bit better than Trump in the suburbs. Suburbs have moved away from Republicans in the Atlanta area, but look at this. If you want to highlight all the Atlanta area, which is, you know, roughly 70% of the population, all of these blue counties, and this one light red one right here, these are all Atlanta. So if you want to highlight all of these, and then you want to move them right by just, let's just let's just say they move right by 
one point two percentage points or something like that. Shift this elective counties, Republicans win statewide by 14,000 votes. So ultimately speaking, he only has to do a little bit better. Just stop the bleeding there. And I think he'd get Trump's base out in the rurals a little bit more than an elitist like Kelly Loeffler would. Trump would endorse him. Herschel Walker also brings his own personality to the table. Again, he has a past. He's not just somebody who ties himself to Trump and, you know, has nothing else going for him. He's, you know, somebody who also has a storied past of being an NFL player, relatively popular from the region. He really wasn't a polarizing figure until recently, I guess you could say. And, you know, his support for Donald Trump is going to hurt him among traditionally Democrat groups who may have liked him in the past, like black voters. I don't think he's going to, like, really cut into Warnock's margins with black voters. Although black turnout for 2022, especially if the, the opponent is Herschel Walker, may not exactly be as highly uh, shifted you know, 96 to 4 or whatever it was for Warnock. It might be something like, you know, the traditional 90 to 10 if it's Herschel Walker. I'm not entirely sure, but black Republicans would probably be energized. They are, you know, not as large in number as black Democrats, obviously, but they probably would be more likely to turn out for Herschel Walker than they would be to turn out for somebody like Kelly Loeffler. But that's a little bit beside the point. All Herschel Walker needs to do is stop the bleeding in the suburbs. If he can do that, he will be able to win in Georgia. It shouldn't be too difficult for him to get the job done, uh, especially if the national environment is favorable. Obviously, what happens at the governorship level is going to be interesting, too. What happens with uh, Vernon Jones? Will Vernon Jones get the nomination? And then will Stacey Abrams, somebody who can energize Democrats, be the Democrat nominee. That's also another question, something that does need to be taken into account. But Abrams also is so polarizing that rural Republicans will be energized to turn out against her. And that obviously will help Herschel Walker to the point where he may be able to win that way. But either way, this is probably going to be the closest uh, or maybe even like top three closest, but there's going to be several close Senate races. But this may be the closest Senate race in 2022. It's going to go down the wire. But I think Herschel Walker is somebody who can bring that factor to the table to help Republicans cross the finish line and flip the seat back red, even if it is just for one term in the Senate. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like this video down below, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me on social media. The links are all in the description below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Red Eagle, out.